the prophet is ring up there. The prophet rings the bell. When you hear the bell, what do you do? It draws your attention. It tells you something is about to happen. It tells you something is coming or they're about to do something right here. So if you're making noise, if you're distracted, whatever it is you're doing, immediately you hear the sound of the bell. Yes. Hallelujah. That is the work of a prophet. The prophet will see. And when it is bad, or if you're doing bad, he will tell you it is bad. Amen. If you say you don't want to come to his church again because of that, that is your own lookout. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are prophets and there are prophets. And I know God still speaks. Amen. God is still saying something. Amen. God has always been saying something. Amen. And God will continue to say something Amen. until Jesus Christ comes back. All right. Before the time of Jesus Christ, he used a prophet to show us what was to come. Okay. Ezekiel, that burden bearing that Ezekiel did was a precursor to the cross. Hallelujah. The modern bearing of Ezekiel was a precursor to the cross. Amen. Was telling us what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was coming to do for us this uh -huh. yeah. And so he taught Ezekiel, you will suffer this way and suffer this way. Are you a prophet? Are you a pastor? Are you a teacher? Are you an evangelist? Are you suffering? Do not worry. Just continue to bear the burden. Amen. As long as you are doing the right thing, your God will show forth yes. for you. Yes. And you that are followers, are you listening to your prophet? Mm. Yeah. Are you listening to your pastor? The pastor is also a prophet, as I said before, because the word of God is prophecy. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Do not look at him because he probably doesn't have that speech or audible speech or mouth to mouth or dreams or whatever you want to call it or sleep vision. Peter had a sleep vision. Peter was half asleep, half away. When they gave him a new job to go and do. Cornelius, who was not uh, a man of God at the time, he too saw something. Yeah. God spoke to him. Amen. Peter was coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can use anybody. Amen. He can speak through anybody. Amen. He can speak through anything. Amen. We know it. It's full of scripture. I can give you scriptures, but I don't want us to label ourselves to try to read scriptures and all that. I, I have them all written out here. You will read and read until your head will, you have gray hair, like, like me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what I'm saying is that the Bible says the body is built upon the foundation, that is the body of Christ. It's built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. It's in the book of Ephesians 2.20. It says the body of Christ, the church, is built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. That's how important the prophet is. The only other person that is a little bit above the prophet is the apostle. Amen? Amen. The prophet is very important. And the pastor and the evangelist and the teachers are all prophets also in different categories. All right. Sitting in different chairs. Yes. People of God, are you listening to God? Yes. Or do you just forget about the gospel, as I said before, and start doing only the listening? Whereupon you neglect your first love. Oh, yeah. mm. right. Say it. Our God is so good that He gives us time after time, time upon time, and we just do not listen. Amen. Amen. A prophet is a man of God who will do exactly as God tells him to do. Sometimes they make mistakes because they are human beings. And when they make that mistake, it is costly. And sometimes a prophet will ask when something happens within his community, his church, God, why didn't you tell me? God, why didn't you show me? It comes to a point you have to learn Amen. Not to ask that question. Because if you wanted me to know, he would tell you. Yeah. 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 Because if you wanted me to see, he would show you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, I used to do that. When something happens, I said, God, why didn't you show it to me? God, why didn't you tell me? But God said, I told you three, four, five months ago. <laughs> I showed you seven, eight years ago. But you 
did not understand. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then sometimes you did. And you gave people the warning, but they did not give to your warning. Amen. And so when it happens, everybody forgot that you had spoken. Okay. Right. Amen. God spoke. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are prophets and there are prophets. God still speaks. Amen. God is still saying something. Yeah. Are we listening? Are we hearing? Are we ready to obey? That is the question. It's not that he doesn't speak. It's not that there are no prophets. It's not that there's no vision in the house of God that the people perish. Hallelujah. Amen. The people of God cannot perish because the pastors are giving the word every day on the pulpit. Every Sunday, your pastor goes up the pulpit and he speaks to you. Sometimes because he may not have spoken the way you wanted him to speak, you refuse to listen. Come on, man. Other times because it is not what you wanted to hear or how you wanted it to be articulated, you, you, don't, you turn deaf ears. And then before you know it, he strikes. After he strikes, now you are ashamed to come back to the house of God. Now you are ashamed to come back to your pastor. Because you know that he spoke it and you did not listen. Amen. Because you know that he's going to tell you some more truth. So you are afraid to go to him to ask him any questions. But when you go and ask, he will tell you again. And when he tells you again, you will not listen. So you refuse to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know such people. Are they in your families? Are they your friends? Tell them. God is still speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God is still saying something. Yeah. Yeah. He says it all the time. Yeah. He speaks it all the time. Yeah. We are the ones that do not listen. Yeah. He claps his hands oh, in the sky and the thunder roars. Oh, yeah. As the lightning scatters, yeah. it is God speaking. Yeah. With his little finger, he smacks it like this, and the east wind come all over from Africa and come down to the western hemisphere and begin to take down everything that is in its path. And he call it all the way. And it comes all the way from the west, from the, the, the western part of Africa, all the way to this western hemisphere here in America. That is God speaking. Yeah. Are you listening? Yeah. Are you hearing? Because he still speaks. All right. He's a God who can do and undo. He's a God who will show you when you're ready to see, when you're ready to know, when you're ready to hear, he will show it to you. Amen. He will tell you, he will speak it to you. He will give you by the hand. I said God loves fellowship. He loves fellowship. But we refuse to fellowship. There is a Latvian, a Latvian here. He said, I work with God. Through the middle of you. Uh, in the evening, God likes to walk in us. Yeah. And speaks to us. And just want to sit down with us. Yeah. And he likes to come and sleep with us. He wants to eat with us. Amen. But we reject him. Yeah. But we neglect him. Yeah. We are trying to listen. What is the prophet saying to yeah. you? What will the prophet tell you? This psychic prophetic age. Mm. What we are after that is what will the prophet say? Yeah. Or what is the psychic telling you? But God has said it all. Yeah. In his word. Yeah. Everything you need to know about this our mighty God yeah. is here. Yeah. And then the bonus is from time to time you open your eyes to see them. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. From time to time the bonus is you open your ears to hear them. Amen. If you are so blessed as to see from time to time, if you are so blessed as to hear from God from time to time, what they will speak or that speak, that speech, God is speaking. Yeah. Yeah. It is yeah. not your power. It is not my power. You must be humble. You must be submissive yeah. to the will of God yeah. and let Him do that which is promised to do in your life. Yeah. There are prophets everywhere. But please make sure it is a true woman of God. Yeah. May God bless us. Yeah.